And uh, he's my older brother. I looked up to him. I love him to death. But he showed me that he was going to do heroin. And I try to talk him out of it, but this is my older brother. I don't want to argue with him. I trust him. I, I don't, and I don't like, I don't advise him doing it, but I, there was nothing I could do. If I told him no, there was no, I'm not going to fight with him. But later on, I found out he OD'd that night, and his wife found him. She found him five times, five different times. And, uh, and, the, and I try to talk to him. I've talked to him a couple of times, but it's, it's hard because, he is. He don't. Ex he don't expect me to argue with him. He expects me to support him, but not support his habit. But he didn't want me to argue with him because we've argued numerous times. And him saying that you're talking to me like you, your dad talking about our dad. He's like, he's like, you know, I I can talk to you, but as soon as you start talking like that, I, he's gonna get defensive. So, so it was hard. I really couldn't get through to him. The week before he actually passed away, he OD'd, and uh. My sister, my niece called me and was like, "Oh, I think something happened to Scar because uh, someone seen him on um, River Street getting pulled into an ambulance." And my brother's my whole life. I have a huge family, and my brother is the only one that's close to me in age. And everyone is a lot older. I mean, like a lot older, like 15, 16 years older than me. That's the lowest, and the rest of them are old enough to be my freaking parents. But um. So I, so because I'm so close, they called me and I f left work. I flew all the way uh, to Haverhill. And when I was getting close to the hospital, I talked to his wife and his wife was like, oh, he's in a bad mood. He's, he's arguing with them because they get defensive. They think they don't have a problem when they have a problem. So, but I, so as soon as they told me he's all right, I didn't even bother going. I just turned around. I'm not going to go there and argue with him because there's nothing I can say for him to change. So I left, and uh, a week later, his wife called me at like three in the morning, and just said, "It's hot, man." No, she just said that he don't. She don't think that he OD'd again. That she didn't think he was gonna make it. And then, then I went to the hospital, and the doctor came out, and it's weird because it's like. It's like they're immune to it. They're used to it, the doctors. And when they came out and started talking to us, the doctors, right before he gave us the bad news, he came out and made it seem like that everything was fine. And I'm not mad at the doctor. It was just weird. And he just told me that that they tried. He had a pulse in the ambulance, but they, they couldn't save him. And it was just... And here we are. It was unbelievable. I never thought that I would lose my brother. I just remember her calling me like three in the morning, yeah. and uh, and they told me, and I just like, I just, I just like, I don't know, I went blank, yeah. and I just, I had to leave my whole family. They they wanted to uh, to go see him in the room. I couldn't go see him.